Hey everyone, King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video showing you how to update your clockwork mod to 5.0.2.7 on your Samsung Epic 4G. Uh, this method will work no, I, pretty much to, doesn't matter what version of clockwork mod you have, whether it's ACS recovery version 3.1.0.1. But um, I do recommend upgrading. I know it's going to be hard going from ACS recovery to this just because of the ease of use of ACS recovery. But right now it's more stable and definitely something I recommend upgrading to. Otherwise, uh, what you're going to need to do is obviously make sure you are rooted and have clockwork mod. But click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this website. Just big shout out to D Rockstar. Huge thanks to him. He worked real hard on this. So definitely give him a shout out and thank him for this. Um, but Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.7 right there. Um, it is officially supported by ROM Manager. I'll be doing a separate video going over ROM Manager, so definitely click on that once you're done with this video. But otherwise, just go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, and uh, you actually got two options. You can choose either one. I'm going to show only one of them. Uh, you, you've got a tar file for Odin and then a zip file for Clockwork Mod. I'm going to show the zip file with Clockwork Mod right here. Um, if you're on stock or you want to use Odin, feel free. Just put this in the PDA slot. I'll probably do a video sometime in the future for, for use of it with Odin. But otherwise, um, just click on whichever way you want to, whether if you have Clockwork Mod with the zip or you want to do it with Odin, feel free. Otherwise, it's going to be a zip file looks similar to this. Just make sure you get that zip file onto your SD card. So once that zip file is on your SD card, you're actually good to go. You're gonna need to reboot into Clockwork Mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off my Epic and then go into Clockwork. All right, now that my phone has powered off, boot into Clockwork, volume down, camera button and power button all at the same time, press and hold. I keep it held down to the bottom back, the keys light up, so keep it held down, like so. And it should take you into Clockwork Mod. Whatever Clockwork Mod you have, I have ACS Recovery, as you can see. Um, but what all you're going to have to do is just hit Install Zip from SD Card. And then choose it from SD Card. Navigate to wherever that CWM file is. So right there, CWM 5027 Epic 4G Zip. And hit Yes, Install. So it shouldn't take long, it's a small file, as you can see, like so. And uh, what I'm going to recommend you do is hit go back and then just reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone, and then once it boots back up, you will have basically the updated Clockwork Mod. I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up, shut it back down, and go back into Clockwork Mod, and I will be right back. All right, so as you can see, I have rebooted into Clockwork Mod, and I now have... Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.7. So as you can see, I'm now updated uh, to the latest version of Clockwork Mod, uh, which basically it's going to be more stable. Everything's going to work better. Backups are going to work better. They use a different format. Uh, from what I have heard, from what D Rockstar said in his thread, is that uh, ECS Recovery backups should work, um, but just keep in mind that there could be a possibility that they don't. So definitely keep that in mind with backups and everything. Uh, otherwise, this does uh, give you full ROM manager support. As I said, I'll be doing a separate video, so definitely click on that and watch that. That's actually something big you should you need to know if you do upgrade to this version of Clockwork Mod, which I do recommend. But otherwise, um, everything is about the same. Volume up and down to navigate through, camera button to select, um, and back arrow to go back, like so. So everything's just about the same. I believe, from what I got, I think you can use the hardware down arrows to use it as well. So there you go, you can use the keyboard if you want to, instead of the volume up and down if you so choose. But otherwise, as you can see, everything's about the same. Reboot, uh, update dead zip, wipe data factory reset, wipe cache, install zip, um, backup and restore mounts and swords, advanced menu, and power off. So as you can see, everything's just about the same as any other version of Clockwork Mod you've ran. Everything should just be more stable and work better. So keep that in mind. I definitely recommend upgrading to this as well as watching my ROM Manager video, which will be uploaded right after this. So definitely stay tuned for that. There will be a link, a link in the description of the video for that video. Um, otherwise, uh, if you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I'd be happy to help you out with this. Um, 
Otherwise, be sure to subscribe for future videos and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.